action and tournament mangas or anime are not exactly known for their character writing. After all, people tune in for the fights. A quick action-packed adrenaline rush is what people are after when they consume this kind of media. But if the author does manage to make you care about the story and the characters, it undoubtedly enhances the experience. And that's one of the things that Kangen Ashura does. Kangen goes against the grain in many different ways. Protagonist is losing. The presumed final boss is losing before the final fight. Some of the team's matches that appear obvious never actually happen in the tournament. Kangen Ashura is chock full of bold left field choices and that's the beauty of it. That's what separates Kangen from just another tournament manga. And one of the main ways in which Kangen goes against the grain is that it's surprising full of wholesome comfort characters, many of which are ironically hawking behemoths. And one of the best written characters in all of Kangen in this regard is none other than the wild tiger, Wakasuki Takeshi, the main star of today's video. Wakasuki was special and distinguished since the day he was born. With a birth weight that exceeds over 10,000 grams, Waka had potential for extraordinary muscle mass. With the density of his muscle fibers equal to 52 times that of an average person. If you're one of those people who like to ask the question, wouldn't Superman just crush anything he touches? Wakasuki's story addresses that idea. As a child, Wakasuki completely destroyed other kids at a judo club that picked a fight with him, and later he's seen literally crushing titanium video game controllers with ease. Because of this, Wakasuki was unable to live a normal life as a kid. And from here, all the Sandrovich had choices. Waka's backstory was a perfect template for either a grand superhero story or an edgy supervillain story. He could have become Superman, he could have become Shigaraki, but the actual outcome was neither. And it is perfect. Wakasugi was placed under the care of a pharmaceutical company called Furumi Pharmaceuticals, where he would meet Furumi Heihachi, who would later become the CEO of the company. After witnessing Wakasugi's outrageous strength for the first time, Furumi would present Wakasugi with an opportunity to, let's say, express himself or be himself for the first time without holding back. Furumi would let young Wakasugi punch him in the stomach full force. Needless to say, he was critically wounded. Furumi was in the hospital for 6 months. But this was the moment that kicked off Waka's journey of growing into not some all-important main hero or a destructive edgy villain abandoned by the world, but a really just a chill, meek and laid-back person that wanted to repay the man that saved him from a world of isolation. Wakasugi would become a fighter under Furumi who was pretty much a father or a big brother to him, and from here on out, he would become one of the best fighters in all of Kangen. By the time we get to see him in the Kangen Ashura story, he'd have racked up over 300 wins, the most out of anyone. His only losses were to Hatsumi Sen and Kano Agido, the latter who he held a grudge against. Wakasugi would represent Furumi from Asurugos and participate in the Kangen Annihilation Tournament with the goal of meeting Kano Agido in the finals. And the first fight of Wakasugi that we got to see was against Murubuchi Gozo, an opponent he outclasses by multiple tiers at the very least. And despite this, before the fight, Waga was seen sitting with headphones on, no music playing in his ears, telling Furumi that he still gets nervous before each and every fight, regardless of the opponent and this was his way of calming his anxiety. It's such a good way to humanize a superhuman character, and this is not the only time when Waka showed that on the inside, he's just another guy, and deals with all the same familiar emotions and struggles that we face. Sometimes Wakasuki can get very intense and almost arrogant when he desperately willed in Nortokita Oma in the semifinals. His internal monologue read, Be honored to be defeated by me. Wakasuki is not some pillar of emotional maturity or something like that. Sometimes he gets very insecure and doubts himself, such as when he had to prematurely reveal his secret anti agido technique unwillingly in his match against Julius Reynolds. Waka is constantly relatable. During his fights, under pressure, he goes through all kinds of emotions, but as soon as the fights are over, he reverts back to being this genuinely likable friendly man. His match against Tokida Oma was one of the most intense fights in all of Kangen, and Wakasugi beat the brakes out of Oma, but even though in the match they were tearing each other apart, the two had a really sincere moment alerting each other that death may be a possibility in their match before each made his way to the arena. With Waka is never personal, he is one of if not the purest guy in all of Kangen. He just wants his rematch against Agido and also repay Furumi by winning the tournament and making him become chairman. And when Tokida Oma beat Wakasuki by the skin of his teeth, Waka was genuinely genuinely sorry that he wasn't able to repay Furumi, even though the latter wasn't even really tripping about it. And after the end of the tournament, Waka would return in Kangen Omega. And one of the most clear developments in Omega is the bond between Waka and Julius. After their earth shattering match, you can see that both have developed enormous respect for each other. I mean, just look at this handshake over here. It's funny just as much as it is oddly adorable that these hulking monsters just feel so affectionate in a way. 
and that's literally the charm of Kangen. Standard is essentially made a guy with literal steel flesh that can fight armies, feels like the friendly big brother at your gym, someone you can see pieces of yourself in, someone you aspire to be like. A lot of the Zero to Hero Shonen protagonists whose entire point is to be relatable can come across very forced, especially in this day and age, but Wakasugi is one of the few examples that work. Maybe because he isn't trying to be some chosen one hero, he has exceptional genetical gifts and a strength that far exceeds anything that's fathomable in real life, and yet he is a picture perfect comfort character. Most quote unquote inspirational and relatable characters fit this mold of an up and rising teenager that will eventually become the greatest XYZ in their story, and this formula can get tiring. Seeing a 40 year old man who's as strong as multiple gorillas, having accomplished extraordinary feats, still being a very average, very straightforward, mellow man at heart, there's a novelty to it, just comforting and kinda cozy. Whether things were this planned ahead or not, it's safe to say that Sandrovich struck gold with Lakasuki. Unfortunately though, I can't end this video without mentioning that Waka hasn't had the best showing in Omega lately. He's only fought once against Fei Wang Feng, but it was quite hard to watch, and he's been turning into a bit of a meme lately, as is resident Shoijek of the Kangen cast because of these reactions to literally anything. To be fair, he was a very reactionary and active guy in Ashura 2 when he watched other fighters compete, but is far more on the nose in Omega. I mean, these expressions are just kinda goofy for the guy who's the biggest veteran in all of Kangen. It may be an overreaction, but it feels like Waka is just not a priority anymore for Sandrovich, and some of the most important nuances of his character have been taken away and he started to feel a bit like a big dumb muscle head, which would honestly betray everything about his character as a methodical veteran. I really hope this gets rectified soon because Waka is way overdue for a good fight and it'd just be a real shame to do nothing with a character like him. None of us knows what the future holds for Wakasuki or just Kangen in general because the state of Kangen right now and the state of Kangen during the KAT is entirely different. But whatever happens in the future, nothing can take away Wakasuki's legacy as one of the best parts of Kangen and in the words of Furumi, a fighter that we can all be proud of. This was a relatively short video because I feel like character analysis videos don't have to be overly long and I didn't want to stretch it just because. And I didn't want to take longer than a week to upload again because for a small nothing creator like me, the support on the Ashura video was amazing. So a huge thank you from my part to everyone who watched the video, even if you hated it or something. If you guys want me to do a video on any character from Kangen or anyone elsewhere, let me know in the comments. I'll be doing videos on Korean webtoons and manhwa too, so expect videos that are not strictly Kangen. And after that, I'm gonna be doing a video on Kanu Agido, so if you want me to do a video on him, just know that it's coming. So far, it's been your boy Edward Takeshi, thank you for watching, and peace.